Hi, my name is Jaya. I came to El Chitai when I was five years old. When El Chitai started in 1997. So we were the first batch of 30 children. I still remember my ID number 16. I'm the native of Karnataka. When Pastor Matthew and uh, visited our village in Karnataka, and then he saw the status that we were living in, and he said that uh, there is El Shaddai where we they provide homes for the children, like no, we we can grow up there. My parents were very poor. We was we were living in a huts, like which is made of a straw, very small room, and we were eight member of the family. And my parents basically depend on the field. And sometimes because of the rain and all, so they had no enough of income, like from the field. So, so my parents decided when Pastor Matthew and had come to our village, uh, told me about El Shaddai to my parents, and then my parents agreed to send me to El Shaddai here in Goa. And then when first I came to El Shaddai here, I saw uh, the group of boys who were playing football, passing the ball, and then I was really excited because I never seen football any time like that. And then I rushed and I, I started playing with them. Then it was such a beautiful house. Like I never lived in such a beautiful house. I never saw such a, such a uh, spacious house. Like you no, know, with a with wonderful environment. I never seen because in my village, everywhere I can see is all mud and the huts. And even we had no proper electricity and water facility, then uh, washrooms. So that was such a difficult life for me and my family. And so I came to El Shaddai, then I really had a good start with El Shaddai. It was really wonderful life that I was having because what I did not had at my home, but I could have here all the facilities, the school facilities. I loved going to school and in, and participate in different sports. So as I finished my 10th standard, I finished my 10th standard in a very successful way, and then I continued my higher studies. Then I went to, I finished my graduation in 2011, completed my Bachelor of Commerce. I thought I'll uh, study more. I want to do uh, continue my studies, but then I remember, then I could see my family status is not been improved. So I thought I'll make a stop for my studies and then start working. Then, then I started with working with El Shaddai because what I have learned, what El Shaddai has given me, the foundation, so that what I really want to cultivate in the, the other children's life. So that's what I started with working with El Shaddai. And then I worked in different projects of El Shaddai. I worked with in shelters for a few, few months and then I worked in homes. And then I worked with one of the projects uh, which was run for the HIV children. As an in charge, I worked there. Then I was, then I was uh, shifted to the school as a school administrator. Then now I'm working as currently I'm working as a sponsorship representative and the homes as and as a home coordinator. So that's what I really had a wonderful start for my life. Even my sister who studied here, she was there in El Shaddai and then she studied here. And now recently in month of March she got married. My dream was to have a, our own house here in Goa. So that's what I I. So that's what I worked it out like no, and then I bought a land here and then I built a house and now we are living in such a wonderful house with, with, with all my family together. All this became possible it's only because of El Shaddai. Sometimes I do sit on my terrace and then I imagine like I say where would I have been, where would my family have been if El Shaddai was not in our life, if El Shaddai did not approach us and given us this beautiful start a beautiful foundation for us that's really makes me feel very proud and happy when i think all these things like from nothing we became something and today my family we all are doing well we all are happy it's only because the support the love that el Shaddai has given for me and my family and and thank god for all the blessings that he has poured upon me and my family through el Shaddai. i also extend my gratitude to pastor matthew Julie Didi and Anita mother because because of them what I am today what my sisters what my family are we all just because of them because they are the one who cultivated in our life and that's what we have what we are today is only because of their support and help that they have given and and the the plan they had for us like no so that we can have a wonderful future so I thank Pastor Matthew Julie Didi and Anita mother once again for doing everything for us.